Hey everyone, my name's Cody, and I travel the world. It all started when I was 18 and I joined the Marines and started to get the taste for adventures of far off lands. So I packed all my things and I hit the road from Phoenix through San Diego to move to Ensenadas, Mexico. This city is located next to La Bufadora, which is the second largest marine geyser in the world. But as you all know, life has been anything but normal lately. Yes, coronavirus has plagued this world, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to continue hitting the road, continue exploring as many nooks and crannies of the world, and continue living my best life in this crazy time. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Cody. Let me show you around my pad real quick. So, come on in. And now that you're inside, you guys can see, I got a nice big old kitchen, decently sized, with a little bit of a sink. We got an oven so we can cook our stuff. Full working fridge with food. Fridge. And then right behind the kitchen, the one side here, we have a little laundry room. Nice. Washer, dryer, pretty adequate. Is where we leave the trash and everything. We have a deep sink for our soap and stuff when we clean it. And then attached to all that, right next to the front door, you got the living room. We got a nice little couch set up right there. We actually have our, uh, our PlayStation right here. That's our little PlayStation set up on a little step tool. And they got the TV mounted. So like you're not too far away when you're chilling on the couch. It's not too bad. All right, moving this around too. But that's only the first level. Wait till I show you guys what's upstairs. you guys can tell but those staircases they got like a little sharp turn in there area right here you know this is where we have our upstairs trash a little doorway takes you to our porch nothing special bam we got my room right here part in the mess i did laundry this morning and i had to find an outfit but this is my room it's not too bad, it has a little AC unit. And with the AC unit, it comes with a little bit like of a controller. So you can turn it like up, down, turn it off. So like, see a little blue button? It's on. I try and leave it off during the day though, if I'm not in here. Cause it's real good about keeping the like coldness in there and like the hotness out here. Cause it's like noticeably hotter out here than it is in my bedroom. Now that you guys have gotten a good look at my bedroom, I'm gonna actually show you guys what my bathroom kinda looks like. All right, so as you can see, you get a nice little sink right here, real good for doing your teeth, whatnot. You got a regular old toilet, and you got a regular old shower. It's nice because this shower actually gets really, really hot. So you gotta keep it like right in the middle in order to get like a lukewarm shower. Try and like give you guys a little size. Now that I've shown you my bathroom and my bedroom, I'm getting ready to go show you guys the roof we got. So up another flight of stairs. As far as the roof goes, you guys can kind of see it's pretty plain. We've got like a little seating area right here. It's made of like concrete, but the owner is talking about getting some pads on it, which could be kind of nice. And then over here, there's just a open area. Nothing crazy. A lot of sun exposure, but it's nice. This view at night is amazing. I'm going to have to show it to you guys later. Oh man, would you check out that view? A nice solid view of downtown Cabo San Lucas. You've got the arches way down there. 
downtown Cabo is closer over there. Gonna go hit the town and get some tacos. Show you my favorite taco spot. It's called Taco Gus. It's located right downtown Cabo. I think it's that way. Taco Gus. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy to get back to the car. Yeah, straight down the street. Ubers are hella cheap. So we are headed to Taco Gus, which is located right in downtown Cabo San Lucas. It's gotta be like the best taco spot they got here. It's like a four or five dollar Uber ride if you take it from our Airbnb down to the little cab spot, but we got our own rental car. So we just find parking that's on like the local side of the road. And then we just like walk right down the street that way we can come and go as we please. You'll know you're nearby if you see this little Papagayos handicraft Mexican spot. It's literally right across the street from it. They don't like you going inside this location though. They want you to go outside this one. Taco Gus offers a wide variety of tacos, burritos, quesadillas, tortas, and most of the items on the menu will be under 50 Mexican pesos each. You'll also see that they wrap up all their condiments before they bring out your food, which is real nice to make sure everything's sanitary and you know you're getting a fresh set of goods. Even have a little salsa tray that they bring out to you with a burrito. I ended up ordering two asada tacos. Here's one with salsa, here's one without it, but let's load this baby up with some stuff. Add a little cilantro. Let's add a little bit of salsa to it too. Give it a little bit of extra spice. Gracias. to it, give it a little bit of crunch, now let's get to the salsa. I like this little orange salsa because it's got a little bit of spice to it, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of this one right here, give it a variety of taste, make sure it's nice and spicy and gives you that aftertaste, a little bit of warm out. And whatever you do, don't forget to add lime to it. Give it a little extra juice. Just got done with eating tacos, Gus. Taco Gus. <clears throat> ten pesos. What's 10 pesos there? For half a kilo. Yo, that's good. They offer half a kilo of meat for 10 pesos. That's like... No, no, tortillas. Not... Oh, tortillas? Ah, it's still a lot of tortillas. That's a real good deal. Have a few of tortillas for 10 pesos. But we just got done eating at Taco Gus. We each got three tacos and we shared a Coke and it was only 175 pesos, which is whatever that says right there. It was pretty good. Heading back home now though, because it's real hot. It's end of July, early August. So you gotta avoid being outside. <clears throat> Like right here in the peak of the day because it starts getting up there into like the 100s. Stick near the beach. Yeah. And as we were going home, we found this little guy on the side of the road. It's a little iguana. It was hard to spot in the beginning because it was changing its skin color to match its surroundings. But then I'm up here trying to get a close look and just kept running away. Don't go, little guy. Come back. Don't hey, go, buddy. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. No, no, let me it's pet you. Colors Come too. on. Oh. All right, I'll see you later. So as you can tell, Cabo can get pretty hot lately, but it's definitely affordable. So y'all should make sure you come by sometime. Check out the channel. Stay tuned. Oh, and y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe to the page and stay tuned for what I have coming up next week. Got some things in the work and 
I think you guys might be interested. And if there's anything you liked or hated about the video, please leave a comment below. I'll try and reply to all of them. I would love some honest feedback so that I can try and better entertain you guys for the future. Peace.